One thing is missing in your videos, and that's cool text effects. Because when you look at other edits, they got amazing animations and awesome text effects in the intro. No wonder they go viral, and I don't, you think? I tried everything to make these texts and after effects, but just can't figure it out. If only there was someone who could show me. Well, don't worry, because today I will show you my five favorite text effects that helped me gain over 10 million views. Let's create our text, and the font I will be using is called Arial Bold. Also, I'm gonna apply Bevel Alpha, Deep Glow, and Drop Shadow to all my text layers before we start. Feel free to copy my settings, and the first effect we're gonna make is this nice texture text. Open your effects and presets, and then search for S underscore texture micro. Be aware, if you can't find this effect in your After Effects, you can get it from the free Discord in the description. Make sure you select the text layer, and then very important, drag it above all the other effects. Now, as you can see, our text has this nice texture, and the first thing we're gonna do is go to the effect controls and put the frequency from 1 to 4. Next thing we're gonna change is the speed, so put it from 1 to 2. And then lastly, for the color, you can set whatever color you like. In my case, I wanna put the color 0, which is the main color, to a dark red, something like this. And the color 1, which is our texture, I'm gonna put to a brighter red, something like this. One last value I like to play around with is the brightness. So if you want your texture to be a bit brighter, you can put this value up. Or if you want it to be darker, you can put this value down. In my case, I think 1.2 looks pretty cool. And when we play our text, you can see we now have this nice animation. The next effect I'm gonna show you is this nice dripping effect, which especially in the current season can be pretty useful. Again, we're gonna have our base text with all the effects ready. And then we're gonna go to the effects and presets, but this time search for CC Smear. Once we found the effect, we're gonna make sure we drag it above all the others again. And we simply do that because we don't want our glow to interfere with our effect. As you can see right now, it looks a bit weird. And we obviously want our text to be dripping down. And once you select the effect, you should see these two points which you can move around. The first one, which is this top one, we're gonna move down to the end of our composition, somewhere here. Then the second one, which is a bit harder to spot, but is inside the middle of our text, we're gonna move to where we want the animation to start. So in my case, I want the E of the text to be dripping down. So I'm gonna drag it onto the lower area of the E. This already looks a bit more accurate, but to make the actual animation, we're gonna go to where we want it to start, which in my case is gonna be about here. Then we're gonna set a keyframe for the reach by clicking onto the clock next to it and set the value from 100 down to zero. By pressing U on your keyboard, you can bring up this created keyframe and we're gonna skip ahead to where we want the animation to be finished. In my case, let it be here. Now we're gonna create a second keyframe for the reach, but this time put the value from zero up to 500. And to make our dripping effect look a bit more realistic, we're lastly gonna put the radius, which defines the thickness from 80 down to 20. If you also want to smoothen out your animation, you're gonna select all the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease. And then when we play our text, you can see we have this nice dripping animation. And if you want more than just one drip, you can go back to your CC smear effect and then duplicate it by pressing control and D. Now you should have it twice. And if we select the second one we just created, we can just move these points that we set earlier to the E to the X. And that way, if we play the animation ahead, you can see we're gonna have one drip on the E and one drip on the X. And if you're too lazy to do all that, don't worry, I completely understand. And that's why the project file will be available to all my community members, second link in the description. The next effect we wanna create is something very special. It's this nice flickering text animation. And to do it, we actually don't need to add any effects. All we need is our text, and we're gonna open it up by clicking onto this arrow. Then go to animate and select opacity. Put the value in here from 100 down to 0%, and then open up the range selector. Set a keyframe for the offset at the beginning of your animation and leave it at zero. Then go ahead to where you want your animation to be finished and put it up to 100%. To make the flicker effect, we're gonna click on advanced like a professional and then at the very bottom, click onto this random switch and put it from off to on. Hold alt on your keyboard and then left click onto the random seed. Replace whatever it says in here with time, asterisk and then 50. The 50 we put inside here is gonna change the speed of our animation. So if you want your flicker to be slow, you're gonna put a lower value. But if you want it to be faster, you can also put a higher value. Once that's done, we can just close all of this and now you're gonna have this nice flickering animation. The next animation is my personal favorite because it looks so good. Just look at this amazing amazing shattering effect. To make it, again, we're gonna have our text, then head to effects and presets and search for shatter. Also, in here, drag the shatter effect above all your other effects, and it's gonna look like this. And no, we're not cosplaying Bob the Builder. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the view from wireframe to rendered. Thank God we're back to normal. Next, open up the shape and put the pattern from bricks to glass. The repetitions we're gonna change later, but first of all, open up force one. In here, I want you to put the radius from 0.4 to zero. Then go ahead on your timeline to where you want this animation to start, let's say at one second and set a keyframe for the radius. Then go to where you want your animation to be finished, let's say two seconds, and create a second keyframe, but this time put the radius from zero to one. As you can see, our text is getting shattered, and now it's a bit easier to set your repetition size. As you can see, in my case, if I go ahead, the pieces are pretty big and it doesn't shatter that much. And by increasing the repetitions to, let's say, 40, you can see we get way more shattering. When I go ahead and zoom in, you can see the pieces are way smaller and way more detailed, which in my opinion looks pretty cool. What you use here is up to you, and lastly, we're going to 
to open up our physics, put the mass variance from 30% down to zero, and then the gravity from three to 10. And now when we play ahead, you can see we have this awesome shattering effect. Something I actually like to do, which I got bashed for in the comments last time, is dragging the shatter effect below my other effects. That way, when we go back to the beginning, you can see my shattering is also affecting the glow, which I think looks pretty cool. But what you do is up to you. And I think next we should create this nice handwriting effect, which after the shattering is my second favorite. For this effect, things are going to change a bit because although you can make this effect using a standard font, it wouldn't really look that cool. So in my case, I'm going to use a font that looks more like handwriting. I will put you some good ones on the screen right now. And in my case, I'm going to go with the font called Bor Rivage. Also, instead of caps lock, I'm going to put my text in lower cases. As you can see, it looks a bit cooler. And let's also put the tracking to 100 so that the characters are a bit more separated. And the reason why this effect is my second favorite is because it's pretty annoying to make. What we have to do is select our text layer and then click onto the pen tool on the top. Now zoom in and we have to draw a mask around our characters for each character. Start from the left and then go to the right. How it works is pretty simple. Just make sure you have your pen tool selected and then make your first point at the top of the letter. Now just follow the shape of your letter and make a dot every few pixels. Once you've finished your first letter, just reselect the layer and then start over again with the next one. Once that's done, your text should look something like this and now we can add our effect. As always, head to the effects and presets and this time search for stroke. And by the way, if so far I have helped you with this tutorial, I would appreciate if you scroll down and stroke the subscribe button. But as always, drag this effect above all the other ones on your text. And inside the stroke effect, we're going to start by enabling the check mark next to all masks. The brush size depends on how thick you want your text to be. In this case, I'm going to go for 5.5. My brush hardness is always at 100 and the paint style we're going to put to reveal original image. Now, as you can see, the higher you go with your brush size, the thicker your text will be so you can make some small adjustments if you need to. To finally get to the interesting part, which is the animation, we're going to set a keyframe for the end at the very beginning where we want the animation to start. The value we're going to put from 100 down to 0% and now we have to go ahead to where we want the text to be visible, which in my case, let's say one second. Once we're here, we're going to create the second keyframe and put the value back up to 100%. Zoom out and we're going to press Z on our keyboard. Select both the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. If we play the edit, you can see we now have this nice handwriting animation. And if you don't want to get my exact text effects, I use to make my edits look the best as possible. Make sure to check the first link in the description because you can still get my limited time text pack for up to 50% cheaper. Limited time offer. And now that we're done, go make an edit and tag me on Instagram. You need to watch this video next and I'll see you there.